Buongiorno, buongiorno madre, benvenuti a questa meditazione del mattino. Good morning mother, good morning to everyone, welcome to our morning meditation. Facciamo tutti insieme la mascar e ci alziamo le kundalini e ci diamo i sette banda. We can all do namaskar, is the kundalini. We give ourselves seven bandhans. preghiera del mattino fa che questo giorno sia quello che tu vuoi che sia per me in questo giorno fa che dica quello che tu vuoi che io dica in questo giorno fa che io sia partecipe dell'uno e fa che i miei pensieri siano quelli di un'anima realizzata fa che in questo giorno io abbia amore per tutta l'umanità Madre, che tu sia nel mio cuore e nella mia mente. Morning prayer. May I this day do what you'd have me be. May I this day say what you'd have me say. May I this day be part and parcel of the whole. And may my thoughts be of a real life soul. May I this day have love for all mankind. Mother, may you be in my heart and in my mind. Portiamo ora l'attenzione al Muladhara Chakra. Shri Ganesha, per favore, illumina dentro di noi le tue divine qualità. Rendici puri, innocenti, saggi e spontanei. We can now bring our attention on our Muladhara Chakra. Shri Ganesha. Please awaken within us your divine qualities of purity, innocence, and spontaneity. Diciamo il mantra Shri Ganesha. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namona Shri Ganesha, desidero essere degno della tua attenzione. Per favore rendimi innocente affinché io sia nella tua intenzione. Santa Madre, tu che sei Sri Ganesha, per favore donami saggezza e discernimento. Sri Ganesha, I desire to be worthy of your attention. Please make me innocent so I may be in your attention. Divine Mother, you who are Sri Ganesha, Please bless me with wisdom and discrimination. Portiamo ora la nostra attenzione allo svadistana destro.
Madre, per favore illumina la nostra attenzione. We can now bring our attention on our right Svadistan. Shri Nirmala Chitta. Om Tvaneva Saksat Shri Nirmala Chitta Saksat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Deye Namo Namaha Portiamo ora l'attenzione al nostro void. We can now bring our attention on our void chakra. Madre, per favore rendici maestri di noi stessi. Aiutaci ad uscire dalla maglia dei nostri condizionamenti. Mother, please help us become our own masters. Help us escape from our illusions. Shri Adiguru Dattatreya Om Dvameva Saksak Shri Adiguru Dattatreya Saksak Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Portiamo ora la nostra attenzione al cuore. We can now bring our attention on our heart chakra. Madre, per favore, espandi i nostri cuori. Mother, please. Donaci la totale consapevolezza di essere lo spirito. Please make us understand who we are. We are the Spirit. Mantra Shri Jagadamba Durga Om Tvameva Sakshak Shri Jagadamba Durga Sakshak Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devye Namo
portiamo ora l'attenzione al nostro Agnya Chakra. We can now bring our attention on our Agnya Chakra. Madre, per favore inonda con il tuo amore la nostra mente e rendici capaci di perdonare tutto, tutti, anche noi stessi. Mother, please engulf us with your love and help us forgive everyone, including ourselves. Shri Gesù Maria Om Tuane Vasakshat Shri Gesù Maria Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Portiamo ora la nostra attenzione al Sasrara. Madre, per favore rendici consapevoli di essere parte integrante del Parancia Italia. Grazie Madre per tutto il tuo amore, per la tua pazienza. Grazie per tutto con tutto il nostro cuore. Possiamo dire il terzo mantra del Sasrara. We can bring our attention on our Sasara Chakra. Mother, please make us aware that we are part and parcel of the Param Chaitanya. Thank you, Mother. Cerchiamo di mantenere l'attenzione sul nostro Sasrara e di immergerci nell'amore di nostra madre. We can try to keep our attention on our Sasrara.
Ora guarderemo insieme un video, un estratto e dopo ciascuno con i propri tempi, con la propria disponibilità, si alzerà la Kundalini e ci darà, si darà i sette banda. Buona giornata a tutti. We can now please watch Shimataji's talk and then with our own times each one of us can raise the Kundalini and give ourselves the seven bandhans. Jai Shri Mataji to everyone. Have a good morning. But the <coughs> principle of Ganesha is extremely subtle. It's the subtlest of subtle and it exists in everything that it exists in the matter, in the form of vibrations. There is no matter which is without vibrations. It has vibrations which are seen even in the <coughs> atoms and also in the molecules of all matter that is existing. So Sri Ganesha is the first one who was established in the matter as well. As a result we can see he exists in the sun, he exists in the moon, he exists in the whole universe, in the whole creation and he continues to exist in human beings also. And what makes you the feeling that we are now uh, a means, a means, we can say, an instrument, a media, by which we express the Ganesha Tattva all over. That is vibrations. So the vibrations itself about which you are asking, these vibrations themselves are nothing but the principle of Sri Ganesha, is Okara. And when it is, then what is it, that feeling as I told you, the fatsal, the feeling of love between a child and a mother. That feeling, it is the one that is vibrations, between the child and the mother. The distance between the two is vibrations. And that's what one has to feel, that he's a child still, and there's the mother, and mother is bringing the child giving all the powers to the child, bringing up, loving the child, understanding the limitations of the child, looking after all that, all the sweetness, all the wisdom of the child to be appreciated. That is vibrations. And if you see the subtle side of this, it's not my child, it's not, it's not only uh, a limited thing because it is eternal. It's everywhere, so you cannot have it live. In everything you do, I have seen people, the way they handle things uh, in the West. We Indians have to learn also from them. What's happening? So we have to accept for them what is, uh, what is the way to handle also beautiful things, how to look after beautiful things, how to manage beautiful uh, relationships. See, you shouldn't be harsh, you shouldn't be unkind, you shouldn't say things which are insulting to others so that the relationships are broken. So all the relationships that are between human beings and God are through the Ganesha principle. So when it becomes the relationship between you and God, then there are vibrations. And then that same relationship should extend to everything that you do. You should see uh, what things are good, whatever has got vibrations. But today I want to tell you something very important about this all-pervading power we have heard about. These are nothing but vibrations. Sparamachaitan is nothing but vibrations where all identities are lost. Where the mother is lost, father is lost, we can say, 
nothing remains then it is just this vibrations the subtle uh vatsalya exists that's all and this is the only thing out of which everything comes and remains in itself like we can say that the sun's rays come out and then they try to create chlorophyll so it's not that we cannot compare sun with that or we can say from the uh, ocean the uh, the clouds come out and they try to nourish the mother earth that's also not cannot be compared everything is inside this parama chaitanya has got everything inside it so we can say that everything is nothing but knowledge is nothing but truth is nothing but light but when the folds of these come out then we get into the folds of uh, that chaitanya and then we become ignorant but there is nothing like ignorance it doesn't exist it doesn't exist like there is darkness because there's no light once light comes it doesn't exist it doesn't exist so ignorance doesn't exist but what happens that the folds of uh, this ocean into that people go and it is lost thus we understand one thing very clearly that we are in param chaitanya we are made by param chaitanya all the time we are surrounded by it only thing is we are sometimes lost in the folds and why why we are lost in the folds is because of our own our own uh, unawareness this awareness has to come that we are part and parcel of that paramachait the whole thing is uh, called as chid vilasa is the is the vilas is the playful enjoyment of god's attention now you will say how can that be for example we see the sun and just to give a simile closer to it we see the sun and then we see the water we see the water in the lake right there is water because of the sun we can see the water there then supposing we see the mirage we see the mirage and then we think this is water we go on after the water but the whole thing is a play of the sun whether it's a mirage whether it's a water whether it's the sun in the same way this parama chaitanya acts and what we get lost is in our awareness that we are parama chaitanya that's why the play starts the play starts like yesterday day before yesterday's puja what did we do we are sitting there it started draining so what to prove to prove that why can control rain so it rained some people were covering up something this thing i gave up on that after some time the rain moved out from the puja to the back side it was not raining where you were sitting and after that it became a sun and it was so clouded sun came it was became sun so that's how you have to become aware of the powers of chaitanya now when you give bandhan what you do is to put the chaitanya into action oh, no act here act there act here though you are supposing in the ocean but the ocean acts on you all the time you cannot act on the ocean you cannot ask water to do this and do that but as real i soul you are empowered now you can ask water all right you dissolve this you do this you do that but for that it is important to be the masters and to become the masters you see like a matter becomes a human being and from human being you have to become the masters of the matter and you handle the matter so we come back to the same like agriculture we can handle just vibrating we can handle water we can handle sun we can handle moon because there's a report now we are aware a report has been established 
So all this play is extremely beautiful to me. I see it. But now you all have to know that you all have become realized souls and you have those powers. So all other nonsensical things that you learn, all nonsensical things you indulge into, you better give up. There's no sense in it. Whatever is sensible you should do because there's Sri Ganesha within you who is absolutely sensible. He's nothing but sense. He's the giver of sense. So he's the killer of the demons, as they say. He's the one who removes all the ordeals by how? By improving our awareness. So ordeals do not remain because you give up and then it works out. Now I asked somebody, uh, Phil, I asked him to write down about the miracles and he says now it has become like a voluminous book. It will be because before realization, whatever looked like miracle is no more a miracle. Miracle has lost its meaning because now you are empowered and you can do it. It works in everything, in your talent, in your understanding, in your education, in every way. Like there are some boys who said, Mother, you see, we couldn't solve one problem, so we gave a bandhan. Immediately the whole thing came unto us and we wrote it down and they stood first. It has happened with many. So in every action, in everything, Whatever you do, you should know it is the Parama Chaitanya that acts. Only thing you have to be aware of yourself and aware of it, it acts. And you just jump into that awareness and it works. And that you have seen. But still, so many people do not know. So many people still, though they know through their brains, do not know in their hearts. And so many people, even if they know in their hearts, they do not act in their attention. So only these three things you have to improve. Is one is your head, another is your heart, and third is your liver. If you can improve these three organs, this Parama Chaitanya will act. But then all this attention about money, so many people, money, this, that, there's nothing to it. Parama Chaitanya will create everything for you, whatever you want. It may not create money because it doesn't have a mint, but it will create possibilities. possibilities and this is something to be understood very well and it's so blissful to know that now you are aware of the Parama Chaitanya and you can master it. Master it in the sense not that you dominate it but you ask him like a jinn, you know, you can say, all right, do this, do that. With respect, with respect, it works. All these things are to be understood now that we have entered into the kingdom of God means Parama Chaitanya. And that we are very important citizens of that. If one can understand this, then I think Sahaja Yoga can be very successful. Everything will work out. It, miraculously, everything will work out. And all those who are not aware about the possibilities to what they can reach, they are thrown out in the sense in the fold, in the ignorance, so-called, into the darkness. Again, they can come back to light when they have sense. So be forgiving about them. It can happen to you also if you understand that way. I hope today's lecture you have been able to assimilate within yourself. That's very important to assimilate, to know that you are in the Parama Chaitanya. And that's how you'll become very sweet, you'll become very considerate and very loving affectionate and wise. That's very important. May God bless you.